Um, I think it's time that I finally sat down and came clean and spoke to you guys about what I've been doing um, and what's actually happened to me in the last three and a half months. I have tried to film this video hundreds of times. I have tried to edit an interesting video. I have tried to make it entertaining, but I just can't get the video that I want. But I still want to share this story and this journey. So if you're interested in following me on how I'm building a brand new software company from zero to $10,000 MRR in the first 16, 70 days, um, you can go ahead and subscribe and watch all of my future videos coming out on this channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to hopefully answer all of your questions. Uh, I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot of them. Um, and I'm going to take you through what the product is, how I came about having the idea, how I built it, um, why I managed to be able to scale it this quickly uh, and what my plans are moving forward. And I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in getting involved and there will be some information about how you can help uh, in the future with me building this as well. So keeping that in mind, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. Uh, £15,000 gross volume, £13,500 net volume. Uh, I would say from the calculations I've done, 95% um, of that is profit. And that is why I built a software company, is because I knew how profitable they could be if bootstrapped correctly. And the reason it's so much profit is because I didn't pay a cent for marketing to get to this level. Um, and the current progress at the moment is we're running at about $10,000 monthly recurring revenue. Um, so, <laughs> how did I do this? So first of all, what is the product? This is the product, it's called Chat IQ. Um, this is the current live version. I'm currently building out something significantly more advanced which will be out very soon. But basically it's a software which allows you to custom train and custom build chatbots. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can now also train it on YouTube videos as well. Uh, and it will be a chatbot that you can either integrate into a website, for example, this is Chat IQ's chatbot embedded into our website. Um, and I built all of this myself. I didn't pay anyone to build this. I learned how to do this and I built it entirely myself and marketed it entirely myself. This is 100% bootstrapped. Um, you can also integrate it within Zapier as well. And I've got a video on my channel about how to do that. Um, and if, for example, you wanted a client manager chatbot or a Discord chatbot, you could integrate it into a separate Discord channel. So. Uh, that's basically what the product is, um, and I'm interested to see your thoughts, if you've got any ideas and where you think you would like to see it go in the future. So how did I actually market it and what actually happened? So this kind of involves me going on to my YouTube statistics, and if you guys know me, you know I'm very open about how everything's run so far. So my YouTube channel um, was very much built with the specific purpose of me building an audience to either market a SaaS product to, or to basically follow my journey. Uh, and it's quite interesting. So you can see here, I uploaded about 150 videos in a period of just over uh, two months. I went from zero to 1,200 subscribers, and then around the, when is that, the 19th, so the 11th of April, here is when, you can see 12th of April, I stopped uploading. I then uploaded one video which basically was to try and start documenting the process of building this startup. And ever since then I've stopped uploading because I've been focused solely on building this product. Uh, and now I'm beginning to actually re-upload again and hopefully you guys can start following this journey. Um, so that's the reason why I stopped uploading. Um, and the problem was I couldn't actually market this product to this audience because it's not built for this audience massively. It's not a huge thing. But what actually happened? Um, well, ages ago, I did a lot of videos on YouTube teaching e-commerce how to scale using TikTok as organic traffic for your product. Um, and actually what happened is I thought one day after setting up a product, my initial product, actually I'll show you what it looked like. This is the first version of Chat IQ. It was called Intuitus um, and it doesn't work. Um, I had a huge load of problems. I tried to sell this to multiple companies uh, and it was just a hugely bulky process to get it working at all. So I then went about rebuilding this product and what it now looks like is this. This is the current version of Chat IQ. Uh, you can see there's the chatbot interface here. You can actually train your chatbot. Um, you can do multiple things in settings. You can integrate it with multiple softwares. 
um, so for example Slack, Discord, um, and there's all sorts of things that you can do with this software. Um, I forgot where I got to now. So basically what happened is I decided one day, after having rebuilt the entire thing, I thought, okay, how am I going to market this? So I sat down and I filmed five or six, yeah, five TikToks. Uh, you can see them here. This one, this one, this one, and they're just, I basically filmed a load of B-roll content and I sat down, recorded it and posted it. And this one, 9,000 views. So I was getting a few customers per day until suddenly this one went, I would call it viral. Um, on the 7th of April, 137,000 views. And this is how I got my first 15, 750 to 1,500 customers, depends on the, the time frame. It was about a week and a half. Uh, this video basically skyrocketed the growth. The next few videos were kind of doing okay. And you can see I was documenting the entire thing on TikTok. Uh, it's very difficult for me to do all this on YouTube just because of the amount of time I've got. You can see what the initial version of this product looked like. Pretty crap if you ask me. Um, and a lot has changed since then. Um, and then we started to get some more views. There was another one, here we go, another one that got 120,000 views. And this just continued to push and scale the growth of this product. And at this time, the 9th of April, again, every single one of the customers that came from these videos up until the 11th of April, I've lost. So I got 58,000 views, I got 10,000 views. Uh, this one, 10,000 views, 15,000 views. Every single customer who came to Chat IQ from that, which is about half a million views or 300,000 views, I lost every single customer, I lost every single dollar, I lost every single subscriber for this software because of Stripe shutting me down. Um, so I wanna highlight that to everyone. Um, if you're starting a business, things like this can happen. I fully expected the chance of this happening. It's happened to me before, but obviously didn't let it stop me. Rebuilt, and you can see I'm in the position I'm in now. It obviously set me back hugely because I then had to continue to post. Uh, and you can see the views have been good, but they haven't been as high as they were before. Um, so it's just been a long, hard graft to get it to where it is now. And at the same time, as trying to do all of this on TikTok, I was also building and making the product better. My overall goal is to basically make a product that people enjoy and love to use. Um, I, I'm not massively focused on the numbers, the revenue numbers. Um, I want obviously this to succeed, but more than anything, the only thing I've ever wanted to do is build this startup, is build a software company that I can run and work and it's just, I don't know how else to explain it. This is something I really want to do. Um, and obviously continued pushing and that's where we're at today. So you can see all of the videos I've posted and all of this is basically how I marketed the product. So depending on what you're doing, if you're running an e-commerce store or you're running a SaaS company or an agency or however you're trying to build income, you need to focus on one thing and I've preached this constantly in all of my other videos and that is marketing, audience, product market fit. If you can't find an audience to market to, or you can't afford a marketing budget, you need to find a way of marketing for free. And with TikTok, with Instagram Reels, with YouTube, with YouTube Shorts, it's never been easier to market a product. And I think this is probably the proof of this. Uh, you can go back, you can look at my other videos. I constantly talk about doing drop shipping through TikTok. Uh, I did it myself. Now I've done it again, but for this SaaS company, I wanna show you the entire journey. Um, and obviously all of this is still live. You can still go and see all of it. And every single one of these videos has a call to action. Every single one of these videos is telling people to go to my website and sign up for an account. Now, at the early stages, the product wasn't where I wanted it to be. Now it works insanely well. There's still a lot that I'm doing with it. There's still a lot of improvements that I'm making. I'm still working very closely with all of my customers in improving the service for them. But right at the early stages, the product wasn't what it is now, but that didn't stop me from uploading. That didn't stop me from building and growing to where I am today. And first of all, anybody who is using the product, who sees this video, I just have to say a huge thank you for actually believing in Chat IQ and sticking with it and helping me with ideas and joining the Discord channel and chatting with me about things that you would like to see the product do. Uh, so that's the first thing, I just wanna get that out there. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically what happened. You can see continue to post, continue to post, and now basically everything sort of flopped. 250 views per video. There's a lot less views on all of my videos, uh, which is obviously what's caused this drop here. But that doesn't matter too much to me because I've also focused hugely on building a new version of Chat IQ, which is going to completely blow 
current version out of the water. Um, uh, I'm also focusing on more marketing to continue to grow this as well. So hopefully the next few months is going to be a pretty exciting journey for all of you to follow along. We've got a pretty good grounding as it is. Uh, I also have a different uh, chat IQ branded TikTok account and you can see here these are all the videos that we've posted again had the same thing some of the early videos did incredibly well 18,000 views uh, 21,000 views um, and then again obviously the more you post and the less innovative you are then the more consistent the low view counts are um, so that's the TikTok side of things I also have my um, what do you call this my Instagram. You can actually follow along a lot more on Instagram. I'm a lot more active in terms of how I'm actually building the business rather than marketing it. Um, and you can see here I've got 71,000 views on Instagram. And this hasn't been so much pushing the growth of ChatIQ, but it's it's kind of been helpful. It's helped a lot with growing ChatIQ. So that's kind of how I've been doing it. Recently, however, I've also been focusing on Twitter. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, which you probably don't because I haven't advertised it at all, um, you'll see some very <laughs> interesting type of tweets. And the reason they are interesting is because I've actually got Chat IQ to write all of these tweets, and then I've actually scheduled all of these. So five tweets are going out per day, uh, and this is very much automating the growth of my Twitter account because I don't have time to be posting on Twitter as well. Every now and again, I'll go into Twitter and I'll post something if I think of it, but I'm not really sort of a Twitter person. Um, and that leads us to basically present day. Um, we have hundreds of customers, I say we, it's literally just me, I've got a couple of people working for me, helping me uh, with some of the editing and the customer service side of things. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's been a pretty exciting journey. There's a lot that I need to do, there's a lot of changes that are going to be made. Um, obviously, hopefully a lot more growth to come. And for those of you who are interested in how you can follow along, how you can support this journey, uh, literally just subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to, you can sign up for Chat IQ. Um, and I'm also eventually going to be looking to invest a lot more into video editing. I've got a video editor at the moment, um, but keep your eye out, keep your eye peeled. Uh, you'll also be able to see careers on Chat IQ here. Uh, you can actually apply for a video editor position at the moment if you're interested. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. If you guys have got any questions at all, please do ask them down below. I have also got a Discord channel which you guys can join and ask me any questions you have at all. Um, but I think for now I'm going to leave it there. If I think of anything else, I will continue to bring out videos. I've got an exciting video of the first few days when the first few payments came in and genuine reactions and everything. So those will hopefully be out as well. So. I'm going to leave it there. Pretty tired, pretty knackered, uh, and I'll try and keep you guys updated as often as possible. But I'll see you guys soon.